Hello, welcome to another episode of Just Play and welcome to Gamer Boy Gaming where I play the games that you need to have and today I'm going to be playing Road Redemption on Steam. Um, for anyone who doesn't know what Road Redemption is, it's a, a, a motorbike racing game very similar to that of the Road Rash series that was originally out on the Mega Drive and the Sony PlayStation. And this is basically a spiritual successor to that of the Road Rash series. There's not really much to it, it's in early access at the moment. Um, game came out a few months ago in 2015, I think it came out under Kickstarter, I'm not really sure about that, but uh, at the moment the game's in early access so there's constant updates coming out and hopefully I'll be able to play the game more and more and more and see any updates that do come out. Uh, this is my first time playing it properly, I've played a little bit of it a few weeks ago and uh, I was very impressed with what I saw. Um, and there's not really much of an objective here um, except for there's a, there's a your standard campaign, there's quick race options, there's a campaign there's a campaign plus which you must complete the campaign to unlock. If you play with up to four players as you can see, uh, I don't think the game has online multiplayer as of yet, um, that's actually in demand, high demand right now, um, but I haven't seen anything, any news regarding it, but if there is any news then I don't know. <laughs> Each of these bikers have different perks and stats as opposed to them just being skins of different racers and I don't I th I th you can also pick a standard rider as well which is a balanced one so a balanced biker and a balanced bike <laughs> I suppose that's all you need. For those who don't know it says that I can start at level 3. The reason why I can start at level 3 is because I unlocked a perk that allows you to start at level 3 instead of starting all the way at the beginning. The objective is the game of the game is to do Basically, you've got to get the the goal of the entire game is to get from one end of the map to the other where the red skull is, and when you get to the red skull, you unlock campaign plus. Um, the game is basically a trial and error type game, meaning no matter how bad you do in a level, you still gain XP and you can still level up and you can still improve, which means the levels will be eventually a lot easier than they were when you first started, if you were having difficulty in the first place. Um, level up. And as I said, the game plays very similar to that of the original Road Rash games. If you remember, you know well how much I like those games, and when I heard about this game, I instantly got interested because... And it's so simple as well. Like, there's nothing much to it. All you have to do is drive from point A to point B, and there are many objectives within each level, so for example my objective here is to defeat, I think, defeat three more bikers. So the objective was to defeat a certain amount of bikers, and I think you win. So here I've got one more biker to defeat, so if I defeat him, uh, the level's complete and I move on to the next one. I think. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Mission 3 complete. Um, that's basically all that is, and uh, as you, it seems easy there, but as you play it, the missions do get harder and harder, and they get more challenging. But you will always be rewarded, no matter how bad you do in a level. As like I said, you earn cash, you earn XP, you can upgrade, you can level up. Um, now these are temporary upgrades. These are upgrades that you can carry over to the next level. They don't carry over to the following level. I'm not sure. You go with whatever one suits you best, or what. And best depending on the situation that you're in. So I'm on level four now, so I'm going to move over to the next one. Oh, sugar! I have to say, some of the names on this are absolutely hilarious. King Dick, Hell Sarge. There's one thing I'm really happy with. You can finally, finally, Jesus, hit the cops. You can finally hit police officers on their motorbikes. Now, if memory serves me well, uh, you couldn't do it in the original Road Rash games. Well, that was quick. Um, so, this is a welcome addition. Mission 4 complete. Again, pick your items. Or, oh, what I believe these upgrades are. These are upgrades that you will keep throughout your session. Throughout, your, throughout the session of the campaign that you're doing. As it says at the top of the corner of the screen, it says items and cash are lost when you die. So, obviously, if it's game over, you don't get these again when you start a new campaign you have to get them once you finish a level and so on and so forth uh, 
You can carry up to three weapons at a time, including melee and firearms. You can carry guns, submachine guns, shotguns, AK-47s, etc. Rival bikers or racers that you come against are not just bikers, they're, uh, as you can see, semi-articulated trucks and everything. So it's, it's really far-fetched. Oh, sugar. Did I say it was hard? This is very hard! Very difficult! What is my objective here actually? I have no idea. I think I have to come in first. Well, I'm not as good as I was. Because I remember playing this a while ago. And I got as far as level 9 before I died. And I'm only getting into level 4 or 5 and I'm already doing terrible. Well done. Nice. And game over. Fuck, 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 fuck. <sighs> I'll try this guy, the Psycho Rider. I haven't used him before. Okay, let's try again. I forgot there was a parry command. By holding the A button you can deflect enemy attacks if you time it well. Oh shit. Oh bugger off cop. Third place, fourth place, third place. Kind of fighting with you here lads. Third place. I forgot you could take shortcuts in this. Why didn't I think of that before? That would have helped. No, I'm very impressed by the graphics. For an early access game, I suppose, there's not really much you can do when it comes to this kind of game. I mean, there's not much to it. Okay, uh, weapon durability up and damage up. That is a very, very useful perk to be getting. The third time's a charm. If you ever see it when you're playing this, you get it because you get three lives and it will do you the world of good, believe me. Uh, I think it might have been the three lives perk I had which got me as far as level 9 in the first place. Come on! Oh, I... Fuck. This is part of the puzzle. These little bombs that they keep throwing out. Nice. Mission 4 complete, I want to mission 5 again. <laughs> you moron. Jeepers creepers. Why did I say that? There is one level on this game that I do not like and it involves rooftops and it is very challenging and I do not enjoy it at all. Get away from me. Come on. Oh, yes, boy. First place. Now I'm on to level six. And this is the rooftop mission that I mentioned earlier that I do not particularly enjoy. It's it's very difficult, I think. But fuck! Whoa! <laughs> oh no! Did I do it? Tell me I done it. Yes! Level 7 coming up. Thank god. Oh, come on. <laughs> Christ.
And game over, I'm out. Well, look on the bright side, I get more XP. Um, there are other game modes in the game, uh, but it's only, at the moment, it's only a single quick race. Uh, in which case, there's, you pick a level. I think, I think it's a list of levels that you already play in the campaign, I'm not sure, but there's plenty of levels there. And um, by my reckoning, this might be all of the levels that you do play. Uh, but that's pretty much all that there is in the game, um, and that's pretty much it. <laughs> um, yeah, that's that's all there is to it. Uh, this has been Road Redemption on Just Play, and uh, maybe there'll be. I'll probably keep playing this the more updates that come out. Uh, I really do like it. I really am glad that I'm supporting this game. Uh, I really do hope that they improve it, and I hope it gets a full release. I hope that it comes to consoles, and I'm. It just looks amazing and it plays fantastic for an early access game. There's very little bugs, I haven't noticed any yet, but uh, yep, that's pretty much it. So, thanks for watching, this has been Gamer Boy talking here on Just Play, on Gamer Boy Gaming, where I play the games that you need to have. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Cheerio.